Sharon, it's Susan Beasley here. We're here at your event here in London. And I've just got a question to ask you, if I may. Absolutely. A lot of people who are employees uh, or who have never owned a business want to start their first business. But they just have this problem about stepping over the line and becoming an entrepreneur. What would you say to them to help them take that next step? Well, if you're, if you're well in your day-to-day -day living, is you, you need to become has some have some sort of revenue income don't quit your job outright but start going to seminars start start looking at what it is that you want to do as a business and start getting involved find out a way to maybe volunteer at some place or start learning about what you want to do so that you gain knowledge because what happens is once you understand more about what it is you want to start a business around a lot of that fear will go away and you can start your business on the side. So to do a transition where you maintain your employee status, but you start a business on the side. And then all of a sudden overnight, you're gonna see that your part-time business starts making more and more money, and you can say goodbye to your employee without that fear, without putting yourself or your family at risk. Understand what that risk is to you, and, and, and acknowledge it, and yet also make sure that you're doing what's right for your family. So maybe a step transition. Stay as an employee, start a business on the site. But keep reading, keep going to seminars, surround yourself with people that are already in that business so that you can learn from them. Because successful people want to help others become successful. So reach out and get that mastermind together so you're not feeling alone. A lot of people that are employees that want to start a business, they really just start another job because they're, they're not doing it correctly. They're not, they're trying to do it all by themselves instead of having that team. Oh, that's absolutely fantastic. And can you just tell us a little about, about this amazing foundation that you're involved in? Because I know you have a passion for children's and young adults' education as much as we do. Well, my goal is to bring financial education to as many young people and women and entrepreneurs as possible. And the current projects of the foundation with Economic Empowerment Foundation is taking financial education to these young people that Gen Y group and making sure that we get them the information they need so that they can become masters of their money and not slaves to their money. That's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. We know you're really busy and you're flying off to Dublin in a moment so we wish you safe travel and we look forward to seeing you in Arizona. Well, thank you. I'm looking forward no, to seeing you too. Be on that ranch. Yes, wonderful. And we'll thank be so riding horses together. Thank All right. you. Take care. Thank you.